less than two years ago, actually in April is when, April of 2012 is when she joined. Um, since that time, uh, she's had 22 consecutive months in Success Club. Um, she's had uh, 108 personally sponsored coaches in just those two years. And get this, of those 108, only five of them have ever canceled. You know, that that is just remarkable. Um, of those 108 coaches that she's sponsored, 16 of them have become lifetime diamonds. Um, as Darren had mentioned, she just jumped from a nine-star coach to a 14-star diamond coach. Of course, she was a 2013 elite coach. And, you know, I have to say that our theme for Summit, our theme for the whole year is never give up. Well, uh, this coach, Brigitte, was, was on the cruise with us and and uh, she made it. We, we landed on Saturday morning. She still hasn't gotten home yet, but she's never going to give up. And I know sooner or later she will make it all the way home to Idaho Falls, Idaho. But until then, she's joining us from our Utah office. Please welcome 14-star diamond coach, Brigitte Linford. Brigitte, are you there? I am. Thank you so much for welcoming me on. Well, we're so excited to have you on and uh and thank you for, you know, stopping your journey, your endless journey home from the cruise to join us on the call. <laughs> I'm happy to did, be here. Did you have a good time on the cruise? The cruise was amazing. I had so much fun with my team. It was incredible. Oh, that's great. Well, you're going to talk to us about um, something that I, I think is, is really, really, really important, and it's important really in every aspect of our lives, and that's accountability and, and how you used accountability groups um, to achieve the great results that I, I, I just read off. But before we do that, um, let me just ask you, before Beachbody, what was your life and, and, and what was your motivation to become a Team Beachbody coach? Well, before Beachbody, I was overweight, I was depressed, and I was broke. Um, we had filed bankruptcy four years ago um, after going two years without any income. I mean, we couldn't feed our kids, couldn't pay our utilities. We were so broke. And I first found out about Beachbody by getting on Facebook one day. I saw a post from Scotty Hobbs. We just have a bunch of mutual friends on Facebook. And one day, one of his photos popped up in my news feed, and I was intrigued. So I started following him, and I saw him posting transformation photos and information about Shakeology. And Really, at the time, I could not afford Shakeology, but when you want something bad enough, you find a way. And so I, and I really wanted to lose weight, so I bought Shakeology through Beachbody.com. I was too embarrassed to contact Scotty as a complete stranger, so I was a success, a success club lead for someone, um, and I ordered Shakeology for four months and lost 35 pounds doing P90X and drinking Shakeology. And at the time, my husband was working two jobs and we were never together as a family. And I kept on stalking Scotty Hobbs this whole time on Facebook. And, and I was too embarrassed to ever send him a friend request or even to click like on anything because I didn't want him to know who I was. And so I would just type in his name on Facebook every day. And I could see that he had influence over people. And people were happy and they were having success. And for me, I saw this opportunity to change my future and know that I can make a difference in the lives of other people. And for me, I had been suicidal for the majority of my life. And I think the idea of knowing that my life could matter and that my life could have meaning and purpose, that appealed to me so greatly. And I saw Scotty being so successful and it gave me hope that I could be successful at something. And I wanted to be successful for me, but also for anybody who was like me, who was overweight and depressed and broke. I wanted to show them that they could be healthy and that they could be happy and that they could be financially free. So I signed up as a coach um, almost two years ago, April 27th of this last year, of 2000. Wow. Wow. And, and you know, it's really... Um... I mean, we're so happy that you signed up for a coach, but but I think that, you know, what what you said and how you talked about Scotty was really a testament to all of our coaches that, you know, they may not realize it, but they can, um, they're really inspiring and empowering people from afar 
um, who they may not even be talking to. And that's, you know, that's something that I I know for a lot of our coaches makes them feel so good about being a coach is that they can have, you know, this aura of positive influence over people. So um, that that's really great to hear. What, 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 tell me like, in your time, you signed up on April 26th. Did, was there that sort of like, you know, you start up, you're not quite sure how to do this or what to do. And then suddenly you have like this aha moment and it makes sense. Did you have a moment like that? Yeah, I did. Um, I mean, I was all in from when I signed up. It took me six weeks to really pull the trigger. My husband and I were talking about me being a coach. Um, like I said, I didn't reach out to Scotty, but for six weeks, I went over it in my mind of, you know, of being a coach. Um, so when I did sign up, I was all in and I did go diamond in, uh, seven weeks, but, um, summit, I learned about that on day one when I signed up as a coach and it was eight weeks away from when I signed up and I was committed to go. We really couldn't afford it, but I made that commitment that all of my paychecks that I got from Beachbody, that I would earn the money to go. And so we drove 10 hours to get there and we stayed at a ghetto hotel because we couldn't afford plane tickets and we couldn't afford a room at the MGM Grand Hotel. But going to Summit and hearing Carl Deichler speak, it was so obvious to me that he was a man of integrity. And seeing all of these other coaches walk across stage for recognition and weight loss, you know, and I saw that people were actually in a millionaire's club. I mean, that blew my mind. But I could see that I had aligned myself with the right company. And I had these big goals and these dreams. And I could see and I knew that this was the avenue that would get me to those goals and to those dreams. And so, I mean, I just didn't have any doubt, no doubt from after going to Summit that this would completely change my life. Yeah. And, and you know, it's funny. You had that vision. You saw all those people walking across the stage. And you know, the Millionaire's Club. And I I have to say, like, when I look at you, you're somebody that just really just got started. Um, But, you know, your your checks now are pretty significant. You're, you know, well into the six figure a year range uh, in in your income and, you know, over five figures a month. Um, Like, did did you have that vision? Did you know you were going to get there that quickly? I'm I had big goals, but I mean, I've, we've never made this kind of money in my life. I mean, we live in a small town in Idaho. This is, uh, I don't have a college degree. This completely blows my mind that it's even possible for someone, you know, to make this kind of income just helping people. So, I mean, I hoped it would happen for me, but it's still kind of well, surreal when it does. <laughs> it, it has, so you should be thrilled. So now let's get to the meat of it. How do you make that happen? I mean, that's what I think, you know, people are on this call and they're like, they hear people with, you know, all these great accomplishments and then they say, I want to be there. They vision it. But then the question is how? So, you know, what, what's the, what's the thing in your business, the most important thing that's helped spur all of the success? Well, that's what I wanted to talk about today. And um, I felt when I signed up as a new coach that, you know, looking at the business structure, that I needed to find a system that would bring me success, but that would also be easily duplicated. Um, You know, my team has to succeed if I'm going to reach my goals. So I focused on what I call accountability groups. And today I'll talk on why I focus on them, how I structure them, and how I feel it has helped my team. So we set these income goals. We set goals to hit success club and rank advance. But I have found that if I set that goal and my team sets that goal, that it's easy to get stressed out and it's easy to get focused on numbers and then it's not fun anymore and you forget ultimately that you're just there to help people. So I tell my coaches to focus on the daily behaviors of a successful coach and I put them in these accountability groups and we all check in daily with those daily behaviors. And they do this because I know if they focus on the business building behaviors, the natural byproduct is they're going to be in success club. They're going to cover their cost of Shakeology that first month of, as a coach, and they're going to see their income grow and rank advance. But they have to focus on the daily habits and the daily behaviors of a successful coach. So these accountability groups, now that I have a large team, I focus on those that are pushing for diamond by a specific date. 
And for me, I call it a push for diamond group, but I've seen coaches call it a diamond dash or emerald to diamond. In reality, the truth is the name doesn't matter. They're accountability groups. And in these groups, everybody checks in every single day. And they're checking in with the three vital behaviors. So the invite, invite, invite vital behavior, the personal development vital behavior, and there is the be the proof the product works vital behavior. For me, I have a separate fitness challenge group for my coaches and my challengers that's just ongoing, and we check in with that fitness vital behavior. So I don't address it in the, my push for diamond group, but you can. But as a Beachbody coach, you're working from a list of names. That list of names is your inventory, and we all know that if you have a business and you don't have inventory, you go out of business. So it's key to have that contest lead list that you're working from daily. So for me, that invite, 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 vital behavior means I'm adding to that contest lead list every single day, and I'm removing someone from that lead list every single day. I fo focus on expanding through social media and going for no. I want a yes or a no. That's my intent. And that's what my coaches check in with. How many people they added to their network, how many people they reached out to and connected with, and how many people they invited. They're also checking in with their biggest personal development, what I like to call aha moment. And that's an aha moment because every single day you're reading and learning from personal development with the intent to learn. It's not just about feeling good and feeling positive. I mean, you can't just read positive quotes on Pinterest or go to Shalene Johnson's Facebook page and call it personal development. We have to learn new skills. And for most people, this is the first time they have ever owned a business. I know for me, my work experience prior to being a Beachbody coach is being a waitress at Denny's. That's it. I mean, I got kicked out of college for bad grades. I didn't have a clue what I was doing when I first signed up as a coach. And not only that, I had a lifetime of negative thinking that I had built up as the norm. So I knew that I got to retrain my mind through personal development. And even if you've never struggled with depression, you still get to retrain your mind to think like a successful leader. And the only way you're going to do that is to develop the necessary skills through personal development. And I really drill this into my team, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty blunt. But I'll tell my brand new coaches right off the bat, if you don't plan on doing personal development right away, just quit because you're not going to succeed. Your business may grow a little bit, but ultimately your business will always grow or shrink to match the amount of personal development that you are doing. I feel it is the X factor that my successful coaches are doing. So in this group, I check in as well. So I'm checking in with my business building behavior, what I'm learning that day from personal development. And then I also have a weekly one-on-one -on -one call with the coaches that are building this business. Everything is scheduled through acuityscheduler.com. Um, so it's free service, makes it super simple to organize a lot of calls. And on that call, we go over three things. Their greatest success from the past week, what they get to improve on, and their biggest aha moment for the past week overall. I feel that this encourages my coaches to recognize their own accomplishments. I don't let anyone off the hook because they're always doing something right. Even if they feel that it was a horrible week, a terrible week, and nothing, was, nothing went well, I don't want them to throw the baby out with the bathwater. They did something right. And yet, we get to continually make adjustments and improve. I want my coaches to set goals and be self-aware of the areas of weakness that can be strengthened. And I want them to read with the intent to learn and grow. So holding them accountable to report back to me what they're learning helps them to make that a priority and really develop as a coach. And it also gives me the opportunity to give specific advice to my coaches and address problems and concerns right away. But I'll be honest that in reality, most times I don't even have to give advice. I feel that as a coach and as their leader, if I just ask them the right questions, that I can guide them to discover the truth within themselves and really empower them to, to trust and listen to their own intuition. Now, my personal opinion is I don't want to weigh down my coaches with daily assignments and videos to go watch. And so there's no daily assignments. I don't want them to get stuck doing busy work. 
I want them to be in the field working. And so, I mean, if I see a coach hitting their face against the wall per se, or, or struggling with something specific, I can talk with them about it and recommend a certain book or a webinar or a YouTube video. But really, I just wanna hold them accountable to the business building behaviors. There's this quote I really like, and it's from Thomas S. Momsen, and it says, when performance is measured, performance improves. When performance is measured and reported, the rate of improvement accelerates. And to me, that's what these groups are. We are measuring our performance and we are reporting it. And I have seen the improvement accelerate. Now, one thing about the structure of this group that I want to address is that you don't have to wait for your upline to put you in a group like this. You, you're the leader. Lead your own, your own organization. I tell my team that if you have signed up one coach, you are a leader. Leadership is not something that starts as a star diamond or even as an emerald coach. If you have one person who has signed up, they are looking up to you. So even if you're a brand new coach, if you have someone wanting to build a business, you get to create a Facebook group and you have both of you check in daily with the three vital behaviors or what I call the business building behavior and get on a call and share your greatest success from the past week, what you get to improve on and what your biggest aha moment was from personal development. I'll tell you that my coaches, they're leading their own team. They have their own groups, and some of it do a group with their entire downline because their group, you know, they're just getting started. Some of them do it with just their builders, and some of them, some of my coaches have bigger organizations, so they're, they're doing it with just those that are pushing for diamond like I do. But the point is anyone can do this. Um, my coach never put me in, a, in a, an accountability group. I didn't use that as an excuse. Your upline, it's not up to them. It's up to you to be the leader. Now, I do know that a lot of coaches on this call, you know, they're, they're not an Emerald yet, or they haven't, they don't have any coaches that have joined their team to, to start in an accountability group like this. Um, I was there at one point too. I didn't have anyone on my team wanting to build this business for a long time. So I found a group of coaches and they extended my network and it was actually my very first Challenge Cup team. And that was my first accountability group. And we just checked in to a private Facebook group and we held one another accountable. And I'll, I'll be honest, not everyone in that small group checked in, but I didn't let that affect my behavior because I knew if I was going to lead others someday, I had to first lead myself. So no matter what anybody did, I stayed consistent with the business building behaviors and checking in. And then I found one coach who wanted to build the business on my team and we started our own group and, and just held one another accountable. So that's what my accountability groups are. I feel that they have really helped my team in a lot of ways, mainly that success is not a mystery. You know, my coaches don't wonder why I'm bringing in the number of success club points that I'm bringing in because they see me reporting in. And they see when another fellow coach advances to diamond or, you know, reports back that they got 20, 30 success club points, they're not comparing themselves to that person because they can see that that coach is doing more invites than them. They see that they are just doing more of the business building behavior than that person is doing. They've been consistent. I also feel it has assisted my coaches to learn from one another. So when a coach is sharing what they're learning in personal development, they edify everyone else in that group. They lift one another up. You now have that opportunity to not only learn from your personal development, but the personal development that others are reading as well. I also feel it has created an environment of healthy competition. When you see another coach wake up early, to send out 15 invites, you snap into action and you're gonna go. And it's not this cutthroat thing. I feel it's a healthy competition to see other coaches succeeding. It inspires you to act and do and follow through with the behaviors that you know bring success. I also feel it has created team unity because my coaches have gotten to know one another really well in that Push for Diamond group. They've created friendships and on this cruise, I mean, my team was together the entire time and we'll do events in my team. They want to be around one another because they've gotten to know each other through these groups and they're growing together and cheering one another on. 
and ultimately I feel this has worked for my team so that my diamonds are becoming star diamonds and new coaches are are learning that this is easy it's not there's no secret sauce it truly is the three vital behaviors it's just being consistent with it every single day whether you feel like doing it or not but this makes it so it's really simple i mean this is a simple system that can be easily duplicated it doesn't matter what your personality is or your experience or how big or small your team is anybody can do this anyone can have an accountability group and if you do that and you hold yourself accountable to that like that and you hold your coaches accountable you're going to see your business grow and so I mean, that's it, Michael. That's what my that's, system for accountability groups are. You know, that was so great, Brigitte. I want to jump in so many times, but you were on such a roll, and it was such great information. Yeah, sorry, I just um, talking. <laughs> but, 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 you know, one of the things that I have to say that I, I think is particularly powerful about what you said um, was – that you are a part of that group too and 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 you show what you're doing every day and you're creating a model for them to follow that they can see gets results and um i think that's really really powerful that it's not you know the the leader isn't just that you know you've arranged the conference call or the you know or the facebook group but the leader actively participating and modeling the activity is really a a powerful thing for people to say I can see that it actually works. So um, great, great stuff. And, you know, we're, we're actually, we're a little tight on time, but, but before we go, I just, you know, I, I, I mean, you've had just such amazing success and, and, you know, what, if you could say there's one thing that being a beach body coach has done for you, something that you've been able to do or see, or, you know, just how, how has it changed your life? What, what would you say that's been? Um. You know, ultimately, the greatest thing I'm, I'm most proud about is that, you know, my husband has been able to walk away from not only the second job that he had, but his full-time job um, eight months ago. He walked away from his full-time job. And so we wow. are now a full-time family working part-time, and we can travel when we want to, I mean, um, and do what we want, where, live where we want to live. We're in the process of um, moving to Arizona from freezing Idaho, and, and we have that opportunity because of, of Beachbody. And it's been such a blessing. Well, congratulations. And I mean, the, you know, it, it wasn't a magic wand that made all of your success happen. It was, you know, lots of dedication, lots of accountability. Um, and, and, you know, your proof that if you do those little things, it all adds up. I remember the last Super Saturday um, in the video, Carl had talked about, you know, that just, you know, building a castle, it takes brick by brick by brick. And, you know, it, it's it's that working every day. And, you know, the people that sometimes, you know, they they put a brick in here and a, and a week later, maybe a brick there and a month and a half later, another brick. And then they suddenly look up and say, well, where's the castle? And, you know, and, and doing the work, the activity, like you said, the three vital behaviors, uh, inviting and, 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 proof the product works and that personal development committing to that every day then you're just building a little bit at a time and before you know it you do have a castle um, so anyway um, thank you so much Brigitte congratulations on all of your success um, really powerful information today really appreciate having you on the call thank you for the opportunity it's been a pleasure all right well